Stop number nine on the Castle GTX Cup Series brings us to California Speedway. NY32986 is favorite racetrack and home of some of the best finishes ever in NR 2003 racing history, such as my season two finish in this series in the Casual GTX Cup Series. And same with um, um, his um, season one and two finishes in his series, as a matter of fact. Um, yep. It's the Auto Club 500 and should be here 25 laps of the distance here today. On the pole at 193 miles an hour is Ryan Richards, number 75, and beside him, 66 is of Luke Walker. Row number two, Pichu London in 94, and beside him, the 83 of Dylan Poteter, Daytona 500 winner. Row number three, red hot this point of season, Joshua Osborne, number four, looking for his third win in a row, and beside him, the five of Chris Washer. And here comes the command to fire him up here in California. Drivers, stop your engines! And give the Inches. Run number four has Jasmine Acosta in the 30, and beside her, Kyle Snosky in the 15. Then it's Charles Sanford in the 12, and beside him, John Lena in the 44. Run number five, or yeah. Run number six actually has Mike Becker in 43, and the 33 of Chris Dalton. Then run number six, uh, seven has Leia Walker in 18, and Dylan Young in 22. Row number 8, Kyle Matthews in 29, and the 27 of Adrian Becker. Twenty-five laps of distance here today. We've had some tremendous California finishes as we discussed before. Closest finish ever at California Speedway. Four one thousandths of a second, I believe. But in season one of Sunoco Cup Series, between uh, when Skylon Carlson etched out Sasha Doss and the green flag waves were underway at California. These guys tend to fan out on the start here. Ryan Richards jumps out in front. P2 London goes into second place now. And here's the eye of the storm right there. Kostasnowski caught in a sucker hole in the middle. Same with the 33 of Chris Dalton and the two of Dylan Young. And boy, look at them just getting so close. They almost trade paint through the, in a, in a, going in a third turn. And off of corner number four, they come. It'll be the number 75 of Ryan Richards leading the first lap of the event here at California. First lap, 177.205 miles an hour. Jasmine Acosta. Inside for the lead, a pair of Motorola Company cars there. Ryan Richards for Valvoline, Jasmine Acosta for Pennzoil. And a pair of Pontiacs, may I add the boot there. Meanwhile, three wide inside for the lead here. Here come, comes Kyle Matthews in 29 inside of Leo Walker for number three spot, and he's got it. And he's got Kyle Sosnowski shoving him, same with the 90 of Rohit Baderview. And Acosta will take the lead. Car number 30, and she leads the lap. Laps click, lap click, that lap clicked off at over 188.7 miles per hour. Three wide battling right there. A couple of ladies hooking up right there on the inside. Ann Batson in the three. And the nine of Jessica Shelton. Shelton so far has had two top 20 runs here at California so far, a 12th in the truck race and 16th in the nationwide outing. Hoping to get a top 10 run, maybe even a win possibly here at California would probably be nice for Jessica, but being a rookie in the series, you expect so much, I guess you might say. <laughs> Back to the leaders, Rohit Baderview inside with Kyle Matthews for the third for second position now. Ann Batson trying for third on the outside of the track. But Rohit keeps his line and he'll take he'll keep the second position now. But Shelton, Jessica Shelton in the nine car, swings down low three wide and makes it and, and takes third away from Ann Batson. And she's got the help from the 22 of Cody Lummis, a pair of blue cars hooking up, and both of them Fords. But Lamas pulls a fast one on Shelton as he takes the third spot away from her. And he's got the 14 of Joshua Michaels behind. Mm -hmm. 
Lab speed is now over 190 miles per hour. Rohit Baderview out in front. He takes the Red Baron front and beats the Thunderbird. That's an 87 Thunderbird he's driving. And he'll take the lead away and he'll take the lead away and he'll lead the lap. The Batsons battling side by side. Or were actually. Ann in a 3 and Keith in a 28. Keith was close to winning his first nationwide race of the season and lost it on the white flag to uh, Cameron Johnson. And boy, look at this snarling cars right there. Four wide battling here. Somebody's got a give going into turn number one. And oh, problems! Tim Feigl and, and Cole Daly have crashed. I kind of figured when he went four wide in turn number one, it wasn't going to work. And Feigl, his car sitting on a pile of junk and smoke coming into the cockpit of Cole Daly. That is not good news. So both Cole and Tim have knocked each other out of the race. That's gonna and the lead and the lead at the line was Cody Lamas in the 22, so he'll lead on the restart here at California. But Hendrick Motorsports teammates, Rick's not gonna be happy with about that. <laughs> he wasn't really, he wasn't when Ricky Rudd and Ken Schrader crashed out at Martinsville in 1990, but. So you look ahead. What happened in turn number one? Feigl, he got sh he got into a shoving match actually with the eleven of Dougie Shears and sent him up into uh, the twenty four of Cole Daly. And this was back in the pack about twenty first spot. And yeah, Tim takes a pretty good lick in the uh, in the uh, in the wall well, in turn two. And Cole Daly just nowhere to go, but uh, about to say, "Excuse me, Tim. Excuse me, Tim. I gotta go." <laughs> but I say, "Yeah." And Cole's later finds out he won't be going for long because the uh, smoke's already coming out of the car. On board, Tim Feigl. That about says it all for Tim Feigl as he's knocked out of the race. Cold Dallas View. So Cole Daly, he and Tim Vigel both out of the race there. Cole suffered a header problem on his DuPont Chevrolet. Tim Vigel, well, crash obviously knocks him right out of the race. About to get set for a restart here. It'll be on. It'll be eleven laps into the books and and um, sixteen to go. Or, yeah, eleven laps into the books and fourteen to go. Excuse me, here at California Speedway, Cody Lamas leads the event. Second is Joshua Michaels. Third, Daniel Day. Fourth is Nick Baxter. Fifth, Ann Batson. And sixth, right behind Ann is her husband, Keith. Stephanie Naylor in seventh in the 26th car. Comet is eighth. Dylan Poteet, ninth. And Ty Sheets running in tenth position. Start finish line. Green flag back in the air. We're back in our way. And Joshua Michaels was ready for Cody Lamas on that restart. Ann Batson inside of. Nick Baxter for fourth. 
And Joshua Michaels to the lead now. Ann Batson is going to try and draft off him for the number two, for the number lead. But now Ann on the, all the while now goes inside for the number one spot here. She's going to make a three wide in turn number three. And Batson inside for the number one spot. She's got Comet. Just Comet's gonna make it inside four wide for the lead now. Who leads the lap? Joshua Michaels does. Four wide for the lead. Dylan Punching almost made it five wide. Just insane racing at Calvary and Dylan Pote out of nowhere takes the lead. This looks like Talladega racing here. A pair of Oldsmobiles out in front. Kyle Matthews, Dylan Poteet side by side. Poteet takes the lead. Jasmine Acosta is going to now try for second place in the 30 car. These guys know the laps are clicking off. We're now down to 12 laps to go. And Acosta got loose and almost hits Kyle Matthews in 29. John Lena in the 44 now goes into second. Just look at this. Three wide about four or five rows deep. And oh, oh, here we go. Four wide again. Stephen now and Keith Batson leaning on each other. Now almost five. One in turn number one. Boy, how long can they hold it like this? Meanwhile, John Lena and Dylan Poteet, they are having a bit of a, a battle right there. Now Chris Washer joins in on the fun. And Chris says, hey, let's look at hey, Chris Washer says, hey, let's look like fun. I'm going to join in on this too. And... Now our Atlanta winner now goes into second place. Now Chris Washer, he's going to take the lead now, trying to or try to from Dylan Posey, and he dips down, and he has the lead now. Dalton Day, we haven't talked about him at all today, and he's in trying for second. These guys know they have 10 laps to go. A new Charles Sanford and Daniel Day about got loose and crashed almost. Nine to go. Chris Washer looking for his second win of, the, of, the, of his cups of his cup career. Dalton Day looking to win his first. Uh, looking to win his uh, next one on the list. Uh, at least he won once last season at Phoenix. Dalton has not been satisfied with his results in all three series so far, but hoping, hoping, hopefully for him at least he can come out with a come up with a charge to try to um, be contenders for the championship. Eight laps to go. Dalton Day to the lead, and we're under yellow. And Badson. Car 3 had a good run going. And lots of smoke in the cockpit of Ann's car. Tough break for sure for Ann Batson. Oh my gosh. And they got 4 wide. Nope, they got 5 wide. In turn number 1... And let's, let's look at it again. It was between Ann Batson and the three, Andy Timmons in the seven, Jeremy Doobie in 26, and Drew in the 68, 70 Naylor in 26, and the one of Daniel Day. Timmons and Batson touched, and now and since Batson up into Stephanie Naylor and Daniel Day in those three, Stephanie goes up on two of us, but oh my gosh, Ann Batson rolls it over. Wall ride. 
Anson, Ann Batson rides the cat, rides the wall in catch fence, and then rolls it over a couple more times back on all fours, and amazingly drives away, but the engine, as you heard on Ann's car, slowly dying on, on her. Stephanie nailed her a little bit of damage to her car. <sighs> Going for an interesting onboard camera view here. On board with Ann Batson. car started but yeah that engine very much about dead on it yeah Ann's Batson's motor about just about dead so and so without question going to the garage area for the day on board with Stephanie now are Stephanie able to keep her car going. But I'd say the sound of the I'd say the sound of the crash about made Stephanie thought, what in the world happened? What in the world? But she is still in the race though. There Daniel Day out with a crash and Ann Batson had Ann Batson did have a motor problem, it was a header problem, but all for all intents and purposes an engine failure for Ann Batson as well in addition to the crash. Getting set for a shootout here at Caliburn Speedway. We'll have four laps to go when we get the restart. Dalton Day out front looking for his first one of the season. Second is Chris Washer looking for his second of the season. Jack Richards in third. Ryan Richards, no relation to Jack, Runs fourth, and fifth position is Ty Sheets. Sixth, Joshua Osborne. Seventh is Tanner Doobie. Eighth, Charles Jackson. Ninth, Zed Weinstein. Tenth is Jessica Shelton. As the field rounds to number four. Pace car on the pit road here. Near Dalton Day. Leading the field down the green flag. Green flag back in the air. Four laps to go. Who is it going to be in the Auto Club 500? Almost four wide in turn number one. Here we go. Richards. The Ryan and Jack Richards both getting the little contact. Osborne and Ty Sheets close together as well. Three wide for third. Charles Jackson shoving Joshua Osborne. And meanwhile, Chris Washer inside for the lead on Dalton Day. But Dalton says, no way, I want my first win. Three to go. Oldsmobile in first, and then two Chevys in second and third, and a Ford in fourth, and a Pontiac in fifth now with Zed Weinstein. Weinstein almost goes in the, gets in the Charles Jackson. Jackson inside for the third spot now. Chris Washer stalking Dalton Day like a vulture and over 190 miles an hour Dalton Day start in front can he hold off this snarling pack of cars I say Chris Washer biding his time two laps to go if anything happens to those two Charles Jackson's in third and Chris Washer is going to take the lead from Dalton Day. This time by the white flag will be one left remaining. Here comes Charles Jackson inside. He's closing in like gangbusters now. Three, four, five, maybe more cars to the side at all here. Here comes Rick. Here comes Charles Jackson inside for a second spot. 
and now trying for the lead. Here they come to start finish line. White flag waves, one more lap remaining. Here comes Charles Jackson inside for the lead. Osborne gets into it, Josh Osborne, he wants three in a row. Joshua Osborne inside, Charles Jackson now for the lead. Ford and Chevy, we have trouble in turn number one. But it's the battle for the win. Charles Jackson in the six, Joshua Osborne in the four. Down the back stretch, here they go in the turn number three, Dalton Day. He's getting the third spot now. Here comes Osborne inside for the lead. Here they come up the fourth quarter. Osborne and Richard side and Charles Jackson side by side it is. Joshua Osborne again. Nobody, I don't think anybody has won three in a row in my series before. I don't think. Not in my, not from what I know at least. But this is a first Joshua Osborne Three wins in a row. And trust me, before I see any of you guys ask anything, I did not screw all these cars up. <laughs> Jeez. No secret to say, Joshua Osborne is on fire. And the yellow flag and the crash happened on the final lap was Dylan Poteet in the 83. Ugh. Horrible luck continuing for Dylan and his he and Chris Starton. So it happened in turn number one there. Dalton in the 33. He goes inside of Poteet and Dalton got loose. Yeah, he hits Poteet and sends them both right in a wall. I say Dylan's going to have some words with Chris Dalton on this one in the garage area. And Dylan's car smoking bad there. Dalton, well. But I tell you what, what a finish here. Let's look at it. Let's look at it all once again. Just tremendous racing here at California Speedway. About a half a car length at the start finish line, basically, between the four and the six cars. Yeah. But. Uh, first time ever somebody has won three races in a row in the Casual GTX Cup Series. Average speed 123.170. Margin of victory 024 from first to second and 089 from first to third. But Joshua Osborne has just made history three wins in a row. The most anybody has won in a row has been two. Charles Jackson comes on second. Oh, so close to his oh, so close to his second ever win in the series. Uh, Dalton Day comes home third, fourth position. Pichu London. Jack Richards fifth, sixth was Chris Washer. Charles Sanford seventh, eighth was Leah Walker. Ninth Mike Becker. Tenth was Ty Sheets. Then Luke Walker, John Lena, Jessica Shelton thirteenth. Uh, Dylan Young fourteen, fifteen. Jasmine Acosta. Keith Batson, 16th, and 17th, Zed Weinstein. Seth Cole, 18th, 19th, Johnny Gardner. And 20th is Nick Baxter. And there's the rest of the finishing order here at California. And Dylan Pote was able to finish the race uh, after that final lap crash. He, uh, but Chris Darton, DNF, one lap down on that one. Cars out of the race, though, Daniel Day. Uh, and Tim Fogel both with crashes, and Ann Batson and Cole Daly both with header problems, but for all intents and purposes, an engine problem for both drivers. But I tell you what, everybody's about, I say everybody's going to be sick and tired of this guy in victory lane. Joshua Osborne, three wins in a row, Martinsville, Talladega, and now California. Yeah, and has already collected four wins in the first nine races this season. And I swear, trust me, guys, I do 
equal I have equaled up all those cards the same. <laughs> I have, I swear. Uh, so the Morgan McClure team very, very hot at this point of the season for sure. Osborne has a 159 point lead already. Mike Becker second place right now. Keith Batson in third in the points. Chris Washer fourth. Nick Baxter fifth. Zed Weinstein currently sixth. Seventh is Charles Samper. Eighth is Seth Cole. Ninth, Ryan Richards. And tenth is Cole Daly right now in the points chase. Then it's Adrian Becker right now in 20th place in the points. And your top rookie right now in the points chase is Chris Washer in fourth. Um, and then all down in the list there, Dylan Poteet, since his Daytona 500 win, he's had nothing going right for him. But, uh, next race on the tour will be at Richmond International Raceway, the Crown Royal 400. Don't miss it.